Welcome to TLE Exploratory 7 and 8. Today, we will continue our topic in agriculture and crop production. For today's video, we will tackle the lesson 4, Applying Safety Measures in Farm Operations. Learning Outcome 1, Apply Appropriate Safety Measures in Farm Operations. And Learning Outcome 2, Safe Keep Disposed Materials and Outfit. Learning Outcome 1, We have Apply Appropriate Safety Measures While Working in the Farm. Hazard Risk and Exposure in the Farm. Hazard is the potential for harm or adverse effect on an employee's health. Risk is the likelihood that the hazard would cause injury or heal health to anyone at or near a workplace. Exposure occurs when a person comes into contact with the hazard. Different types of hazard. First, physical includes floor, stairs, work platforms, step ladders, fire, falling objects, slippery surfaces, manual handling, lifting, pushing, and pulling. Mechanical or electrical includes electricity, machinery, equipment, pressure vessels, dangerous goods, forklifts, cranes, hoists. Chemical includes chemical substances such as acids or poison and those that could lead to fire or explosion like pesticides, herbicides, and cleaning agents. Biological includes bacteria, viruses, mold, mildew, insects, vermin, and animals. Psychosocial environment includes workplace stressors arising from a variety of sources. To perform emergency procedures regarding safety working environment, we have identified the potential emergencies. The emergencies that may occur on a crop production farm could include fire, flood, typhoon, machinery entrapment, electrical shock, snake or spider bite, chemical exposure, injuries, illness, and accidents. Provide emergency facilities appropriate for the source of emergencies that might occur on the farm, like the lodge showers, eye wash, farm fighting equipment, and first aid kits. 3. Make sure that the correct equipment is available to contain and handle any chemical or other dangerous material spills that might happen. To help minimize the risk of personal injury or property damage in the event of an emergency, people working on and visiting the farm need to know and understand the emergency procedures and their responsibilities. Instruct everyone working on the farm in the emergency response procedures. Everyone should know the location of firearms, fire extinguishers, and first aid kits, how and where to contact emergency services, and where to safely assemble in the event of an emergency. The following factors may increase the risk of injury or illness for farm workers. First, age. Injury rates are highest among children age 15 and under and adults over 65. Most farm accident and facilities involve machinery, proper machine guarding and doing equipment maintenance according to manufacturer's recommendations can help prevent accidents. Farm works that involve using chemicals, hazardous tools, and equipment. Spraying chemicals Examples of chemical hazards, spraying in a strong wind and the spray drifting over a dam or the farmhouse, washing spray equipment and the water running into open drains, collecting in puddles or running into stockyards or dams, containers or chemicals left lying around, empty containers lying in a heap. Some ways you can reduce the risk of hazards from chemicals are Use personal protective equipment such as respirators, waterproof clothes, rubber gloves, and waterproof footwear. Make sure chemicals are safely stored and cupboards locked. Never spray chemicals on days when there is a high wind. No first aid procedures and keep a list of all hazardous substances used on the farm. Safe use of chemicals. 
Consider if a chemical substance is really needed, eliminate a hazardous substance or if that is not possible, substitute it with a less hazardous one. Safe work practices or personal protective equipment should be used and keep records of farm chemicals. For land preparation using tractor, victims fall off are thrown from the tractor, run over by either the tractor or implement being towed or bought overturn. Safety reminders. Tractors are not passenger vehicles. Use seat belts when driving tractors. Ropes will protect the operator from serious injuries. Causes of run-over accidents. Sudden stops, driving over holes, stumps and debris are a sharp turn. How to prevent run-over. Never allow riders or tractors Discuss with family members and farm workers the potential risk of riding tractor. It also helps to post no riders decals on all trucks to remind others about the policy. Use or provide other vehicles that allow passengers such as trucks or cars when transportation is needed to fields or remote work sites. For personal protective equipment, can reduce the number and severity of farm work-related injuries and illnesses. Personal protective equipment not only helps protect people but also improve productivity and profits. These are the sample of personal protective equipment. Protect your head with a hard hat when performing construction work, trimming trees, repairing machineries, and doing other jobs. Protect your visions with appropriate safety eyewear or safety glasses, goggles, face shields when applying pesticides, fertilizers, working in the shop. Protect your hearing with acoustic earmuffs or plugs when operating noisy equipment such as grain dryers, feed grinders, older tractors, jeans, saws, etc. Protect your lungs with the correct respiratory equipment like dust mask, cartridge respirators, gas masks, or air packs. For learning outcome 2, safe keep disposed tools, materials, and outfit. Cleaning, storing, and waste management. Protect tools from the elements. Blades such as electric head trimming blades, hoe, shovels, and other metal surfaces can be sprayed with lubric. Spray the blades then turn them on to make sure all works into all areas. All electrical and petrol gardening equipment need to be covered over with a blanket or sheet if kept in a shed. This will prevent dust and dirt getting to them. For general cleaning procedures, be properly trained on the cleaning procedures. Develop a cleaning program and schedule according to recommended frequency and the cleaning program should be monitored to ensure its effectiveness. Cleaning must not take place while fresh vegetables are being harvested, packed, handled, and stored. Water that is used for cleaning must be safe. The cleaning of equipment, tools, and containers must take place in a designated area away from field storage of agricultural inputs and fresh vegetables. When using cleaning and disinfection chemicals, the farmer and her farm workers must become familiar with the instructions use of these products. Strictly adhere to all precautionary statements and mixing instructions. Protect equipment, tools, containers, and fresh vegetables when working with any chemicals. For cleaning reusable containers, remove as much as possible plant debris, soil and residues of any kind, use a brush or appropriate tool when necessary. Inspect containers for physical damage which might injure, spoil, and contaminate fresh vegetables if found, refer them. Inspect the containers for any misplant, debris, soil, and residues if found, reclaim. If cleaning or disinfection chemicals are used, follow label instructions for mixing. Rinse containers with clean water. When possible, containers should be placed under the full sun for rapid drying. Store reusable containers properly to avoid contamination. 
For cleaning equipment tools and garbage cans, remove as much as possible plant debris soil and residues of any kind. Use a brush or another appropriate tool when necessary. Inspect equipment for physical damage which might injure, spoil, and contaminate fresh vegetables if found, repair them. Inspect equipment tools and garbage cans for any misplanted debris, soil, and residues if found, clean or disinfection chemicals are used, follow label instructions for mixing. As required, apply cleaning materials such as detergent and or disinfection chemicals and ensure that no spots are missed. Rinse with safe water if there are parts of the equipment that cannot be rinsed with water, use a clean wet towel and follow the same procedures for cleaning. Ensure that the small equipment and tools do not touch the ground floor after the cleaning procedures. When possible, place in the full sun of rapid drying, store equipment and tools properly to avoid contamination. That's the end of our lesson for Lesson 4, Applying Safety Measures in Farm Operations. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.